What's going on YouTube? Welcome back today for another video. So as you've seen by the title, this is going to be installing cab lights from Recon on any 99 through 2016 F250. Should be roughly the same. I went ahead and I'm actually doing a Starlight headliner, Rolls Royce headliner, whatever you want to call it, in the truck right now. So I do have the uh, the whole cab headliner removed out of the truck, but that's not at all necessary. You only have to drop it down, which this will make it a whole lot easier, but like I said, not necessary. After you get your headliner dropped down, I think they recommend pulling uh, just the, the two bolts out of these over there. All you have to do is just pull those two bolts and then pop off those pieces right there, and then you can pull down the headliner. Of course, there's two Phillips screws on the sun visor as well. Right there, two Phillips screws on the sun visor on each side of the sun visor. So once you get that removed, then we are going to go over here and check out the directions that they gave us. So I'm going to go ahead and read through these and then I'll go over them with you. Okay, so I went over the directions and I also have masking tape for my supplies and a step drill bit just for whatever size works that this socket right here has to go through so you do have to drill the holes in your cab for this socket and then you have to drill a really really small hole for these self threading screws to hold the cab lights on and then you'll need some silicone or some sort of rubber sealant you know waterproofer for each hole and all that stuff so the way Recon wants you to do this is it's five and a half inches from this rubber seal right here. You go five and a half inches up. So pretty much all I've done, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. So you just hold your ruler straight and go down to the rubber seal and go five and a half inches up. And I just put all of these dots all the way across. And then ran a line through all of those dots that are five and a half inches so we should be able to use this line for the center of the cab lot I think or maybe that's the front of the cab lot I don't know we'll figure that out in a second but I'm going to go ahead and play with this for a second and figure out how to do it so then I can tell you all what I learned and how I'll be doing it and then we'll start drilling some holes and I will see you uh, right after I snap my fingers alright guys so what you want to do for the first hole is find the exact center of the cab five and a half inches up from that rubber seal which is this dot right here uh, the way that we got that is just measuring all the way across in a straight line we got this dot uh, all of these should be the same so my measurements were 24 and a quarter along this line so right at 24 and a quarter along this line that's five and a half inches up from the rubber seal is where our first hole will go so I'm gonna go ahead and drill that first hole. Okay, so now that we got the first hole drilled, the next ones, so here's one cab light in the center and you you get all the holes drilled first and then put the cab lots up so this is the hole that the actual wire will drop down through so you go from the center of this hole after you get it drilled out big enough for the piece which will probably be let's see I would say about 7 16 maybe half inch will be plenty so you'll drill that and then from the center of this hole you go eight inches was it eight inches Bean? Yeah. so you go eight inches this way along this line that we created drill you another hole eight inches that way along that line drill you a hole and then from those holes you go 13 inches along this line and get your two outside ones so after we get all these holes drilled we'll put a couple dots of silicone along everything and then run the screws down through okay so now we have all of the holes drilled and then we have this little bitty 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 drill bit on the drill and I made a little template right here so we can just set that template over top of that hole center it drill those two holes right there and then put the cab lock down through just like so 
and you want to put some silicone around this and around this. Help if I would show you. Put some silicone around there. Whenever you drill those two little bitty holes, put some silicone on there. And I'm gonna put it inside of here too. Like down inside of there. Just a little bitty dot. So then if moisture or water was to get inside of the light itself, it wouldn't seep down through the hole. So you wanna put a dot here, put you some around through here, and then a dot on that dot, and a dot inside of those cab lights, just a little bitty one. And we should be watertight. So after I get all these mounted up, then I'll show you kind of how the wiring works. All right, so we got all of the cab lights mounted up. I don't know how well you can see them. Took this, I took one of the cab lights and made like a little template for where each hole was to use the smaller drill bit like you just now seen. Drilled both of the holes. And the recon kit comes with little bitty like sheet metal screws. So you can kind of see each one I put silicone all around it because there's actually there's a hole in the center and then a hole on each side just to ensure that it wouldn't leak and I also put around the inside of the cab light just a little bitty ring of silicone on the actual outside so it should be sealed up perfectly and then of course nobody will ever see this and that's just to ensure that you don't have a soaking wet headliner and we're also doing the starlight headliner so the video will be up right after this one so if you're watching this don't forget to go check out the channel hit that subscribe button and check out how to do a starlight headliner so for the ground we just ground off a little bit right here on the inside of the cab works perfectly and then just ran the wire through this top sheet metal area and right down through the pillar down into here out through the firewall then as we pop the hood we ran the wire down through here and into the back of the parking lot so there's three wires on the parking lot socket the middle one is the one that you want to use it's a dark brown wire on this 2006 f-250 the other wire is a ground and then the third wire is a flasher wire for your turn signal so I'll go ahead and shut this hood and we will turn these babies on. So it is daytime out, but you can still see them. They are super bright. Here's the parking lights. And they are actually LED motherboards inside of there, so they are super bright. Hey, so I know that that clip was in the daytime, so I just wanted to go ahead and make a little clip. I don't know, you can just barely see them, but you can see how bright they are. I just wanted to throw that little clip in there. I know that it wasn't much, but at night time, they're super, super bright. Anyway, back to the video. So whenever you do splice into the power wire on the parking lots, make sure that you use the waterproof splicers, uh, like the little quick, like the press down ones, or you actually shave some of the wire cover off and solder your joint and use a little bit of heat shrink or a little bit of liquid heat shrink um, just liquid wire cover just so then you have a complete waterproof connection and you never have to worry about these babies flickering and make sure that you put the silicone on the inside just so you don't have any leaks down the road and you have just watched a cab install video by me Justin Knox Smith make sure you hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up click the notification bell so you get notified for my next YouTube video which will be a starlight headliner install in this truck so I will see you in the next one peace thanks for watching for all you 60 guys out there f250 guys don't forget to follow the channel and subscribe. Overkill Fabrication, One Off Grill, Starlight Headliner, Fox Shop, all kinds of powder coated and painted pieces going into the truck. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are a F250 60 owner or any owner of any truck whatsoever. Awesome content coming to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Peace.